Hey guys! Today we're going to be doing a quick demo of Motionix Weimer 1 wireless transmitter. That's short for Wireless Measurement Read Series 1. It is a wireless uh, Bluetooth low energy transmitter that works with uh, Mitutoyo instruments such as this caliper and this dial indicator here to transmit readings wirelessly to your iPad, iPhone, Android, or Windows PC. Uh, let's take a look at what comes in the box. So you, can, of course, get the transmitter itself, uh, which is a rechargeable wireless transmitter that uh, has a battery life of a few days, uh, which you can charge using these charging accessories it also comes with. Um, it also comes with a trigger switch that you can plug into this port here to take single capture readings with the push of a button. Uh, if you would like to use our Windows software, be sure to... Uh, include a USB dongle in your order, so that way it can work with our Windows software. Uh, it'll come with a user guide as well. So the transmitter itself, as I said, is a Bluetooth low energy transmitter with a micro USB port for charging here, uh, that data trigger switch port, as well as a power button, let's turn that on, and a 10 pin connector that you can use to connect to a data cable. Let's uh, connect to our gauge now. So let's start with this Mitotoyo dial indicator, which we can turn on and then connect using this data cable. Uh, make sure that you get the correct data cable uh, based on the gauge that you need. Uh, for example, this data cable is uh, for this particular indicator, whereas this would work with the uh, Mitotoyo caliper. So plug one, in, one end into that, and then the other into the Weimar transmitter, and now it's the readings from this gauge are being transmitted uh, via Bluetooth. So now we just have to open uh, our multi-gauge software on our iPad here. We'll go to the home page, click new measurement, and then uh, hit the plus button in order to pair with the Weimer unit. So we see it here, the uh, device ID will be listed on the package. So once it's connected, might take a couple seconds, uh, you will see the readings in real time displayed here. Um, you can change the display here. There's a bunch of different features for multi-gauge that I'm not going to go over in this video. We, get, we have a couple playlists and a couple other videos on our channel that will um, give you a bit more information. Uh, but basically you can view readings wirelessly, you can also record readings wirelessly. Um, so I'm in single capture mode at the moment, so you can view... Uh, you can capture readings by either pressing the capture button in the software, or if you use this uh, hand switch here, you can collect readings that way. Um, you can also use this port to connect to a foot switch as well if you want to do hands-free measurement. Uh, so that's single capture mode. You can also do continuous mode, which will basically allow you to set a data rate, and then when you hit record, it will take those readings at that data rate. You can also do a live plot while you're taking those readings. As I said, there's a bunch of different features for multi-gauge uh, that I'm not going to be going over in this video. And then when you are finished recording, you can save that data according to uh, plant and machine. So let's say plant one, machine one, and then those readings are saved, which we can then view later on the measurements page. And uh, yeah, as I said, there are a bunch of different features uh, for this software that I'm not going to be going over in this video. I would recommend checking out our playlist for that. So that's connected to the dial indicator. Um, so if we disconnect this data cable here, we can connect to our caliper instead. Again, make sure that you get the correct data cable for um, the instrument that you're going to be using. And for example, this, uh, this caliper that we are currently connecting to and turning on so that way we can see the readings. Uh, there are a couple different methods for uh, taking reading. So as I said before, you can uh, capture using the software. Um, you can capture in single capture mode using the software. You can also press this button, and then you can also, for this particular cable, you can press the button on the cable in order to capture readings. Uh, so you can... <clears throat> so for Weimer, again, uh, there's a bunch of different options as far as the software, and then for the indicator itself. It has a battery life, as I mentioned, of a few days, um, and a sample rate of 10 samples per second that's adjustable in the software. Uh, you can either 
use that rechargeable battery, or you can also just keep it plugged in if you want to uh, increase that battery life, and the battery life will increase the uh, slower the data capture rate is. Uh, so it, you can use this with our multi-gauge iOS software, our multi-gauge Android software, um, our Windows software, as well as our multi-gauge cloud platform, which allows you to uh, access, which allows you to connect uh, this to a gateway via Bluetooth, and then you can take readings remotely anywhere um, and set alerts and notifications for uh, readings falling out of threshold, and as well as a bunch of other features. Uh, you can check, see more information on our website about our multi-gauge platforms, as well as Weimar One. Thank you for watching!